Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naido, I'm a massage trainer and programmer. In this particular video, I'm going to explain it uh, like how to import uh, external files into SAS environment. It can be an Excel file, it can be a CSV file, it can be a text file, or sometimes it is a net tab files. How we can easily import it uh, into the SAS environment using this particular procedure. Let me just talk about it. So let's get started for that. So let me just open my SAS software for more details. Please note that there is a task at the end of the video. Watch the video entirely and respond to the task by leaving your comments below. I'll just tell you how we can easily import external data into SAS environment. This method we also call it as a, it's a procedure method of importing external data into SAS environment. So this is a procedure, we call it as a PROC import. PROC means it's a procedure, import means we are telling a SAS to import of your external data into SAS environment. For that, what you have to do is very simple stuff. What you do is you just um, write it something called, you write it procedure as a PROC means it's a procedure import means you are telling a SAS to import it uh, and the data file equal to you need to import a external data. Imagine client has given some data to you which is there on your desktop a excel file or maybe comma separated value file or text file or something like that there are a different files you are interested to import these files into SAS environment how we can able to import it we will see. For this first of all what we do is first you just open this particular data. I'll just share this particular data with you below this video. So please just go through and you will get this particular video. You can uh, just download all these data sets uh, for your practice purpose and I'm just keeping with you. So once the data is downloaded and extracted and the folder something like this, what you have to do is you right click on this particular data that is your my data one you first to see what data inside of it in the my data one i have an idu data we have a uu data class data heart data cars data by data and as well as AIL data there are a different data we have it in the data set so now my interest is to import external data into SAS environment. This means I'm interested to import this particular NIDU sheet containing a data into SAS environment. That's my job. What I can do is simply, I'll just right click on it, go to properties, then go to security, make sure to copy the path of that file where it is located. See my file is located on my uh, C user NIDU desktop. So then data is the folder, my data onexls x is the file which I have it. I'm copying a path of that folder, then go to your SAS and proc import is the procedure I have written, then data file equal to, make sure to write a file uh, path in a quotation. So I'm just mentioning a path of that Excel where it is located. So then you need to write it to DBMS, so database management system equal to, as it is in XLS X file, XLS X I'll try to write it. Once the data is imported into SAS environment, out equal to, I'm trying to write a new data set name called test and then write an option called replace. If the data set name is already exist with the same name of test in my library's location at somewhere. See right now work library, I don't have a data set name called test. Whether I'm writing a replace or not writing a replace for the first iteration, it won't be an issue. But the second iteration onwards, the replace option is required. Otherwise it will throw the message import cancelled or something like that. I'll show you that also. For time being, I'll not write it. I'll just show you. And then semicolon, I'll try to write a run statement. That's it. This is a just a procedure how to import external data into SAS environment. Proc import means it's an importing external data, data file equal to, you mentioned that particular Excel file, where it is located and DBMS equal to XLSX out equal to test and that's it. When you try to import, uh, that means when you select this piece of code and run it, I'm importing the external data into SAS. I just done, as you already know that uh, in the last video also I have explained, when you are importing anything or when you are creating anything in the SAS by default, it will go and store into work library. It is just saved into your test data set here. It is just creating the test data set in your work library. See that the data set is just got created. All the NIDU sheet information, whatever is there in that sheet, uh, you are in 
interested to import all the sheet information into the SAS software, yeah, we can easily do that. Okay, so I just imported uh, imported all the data. So now what you need to do is um, we we this is just a way of importing one Excel file. Imagine due to some reason the same program one more time you are interested to import it. It will throw an error message saying it uh, import cancel the output data set uh, test is already exist to specify the replace option to overwrite it. So SAS is trying to tell me you can't be able to create a new data set name with the name of test uh, because the data set of work library containing test is already there. You can't create the new one. That's what SAS is trying to give you an error a warning message so it is not a warning it's a note message but still it is clearly saying specify the replace option to overwrite it how can i tell to my sas to replace the existing data set value by just mentioning a statement called a replace here within a replace statement if i mention it uh, this will allow me to just uh, overwrite the existing data set values and execute it i'm done now so now you can see that the old data set values are just got overwritten and now you can get it f code airport t date child adult and e car and f car and this is how it is just imported yeah it's working so all the data of my that excel file containing a data imported into sas environment so this is the way of excel files i can able to import it you are interested to import a comma separated value file very simple i'll just go to my desktop on to the same destination where my another data are available i have a data with me that is called comma separated value file you can just see this particular data um, the data is available okay the, you just see the text file all the data is just separating with comma 12 comma 34 comma aa 14 comma 56 comma bb 12 comma 24 comma 24 comma, 24, comma cc and all it's all comma separated value file you are interested to import this comma separated value into sas i'll go to properties i'll go to the security i'll make sure to copy the path of that file where it is located i'll come to my sas and then i'll just mention it proc import data file instead of path of that excel you need to write it path of that particular file where it is located so that is your comma dot text file you are just writing it dbms equal to it is a not xls file it is a just a, a csv file it's a comma separated value file even though it is a text file inside of your data is just separating with comma i'm writing dbms equal to csv i'll try to write it okay csv I'm just writing it out equal to new data set name test and replace. With this, what happens, you know, that particular external data containing data you are interested in interested uh, to import into SAS, I just done. I think I have successfully imported, you see that work.test data set successfully created. There we have a two rows and three variables. That means two rows means two observations and three variables means three columns are created. So you just see that the data, whatever is there, it is just imported. But the data default first row is automatically taking as a column name in my SAS. I don't want the first row as a column name in this importation process. I'll tell to my SAS don't take the first row as a column name by just using a statement called get names equal to no option i'll write it so get names so get names you need to write it get names equal to no and semicolon so this will allow me not to get uh, uh, the data when i execute it so now you are just writing it so what happens you know so now you are just three observations and three variables containing a data imported now you can see where one where two where three as uh, first row is taking as a column names earlier i don't want that first row as a column name I have told SAS not to take that first row as a column name. So then you got it as a where one, where two, where three. So yeah, that's what you are going to get it here. Okay. So now it is just created where one, where two and where three. And it is just created here. And what we can do is. So this is the just data importation of your comma separated values. Sometimes the same comma separated values available in the form of, uh, you can just see sometimes the comma separated value file available in the form of a CSV like this. So you, it looks like an Excel file, but it is not. 
but still you are interested to read this type of comma separated value files so how can you say it's a comma separated right click on it go to open with the program and open with notepad so now you can see that all the data is just a comma separated value file you are interested to import this comma separated value file into sas i'll go to properties and go to security i'll make sure to copy the path but this time the path is my file.csv you go to your program you need to just instead of writing comma dot text earlier it is a text format of your comma separated values but now i'm writing it in the form of a csv but dbms i no need to change anything I'll keep it as it is. So now if I execute this piece, piece of code and run it, I'm importing that particular data also into SAS environment. There are around 120 observations containing a data set uh, which is there with me. Open it, uh, see it is creating it. But here there is no problem for my first row as a column names because in my data set uh, in this particular Excel, I have already first row as a column names is already there. So I no need to ever worry about much here. So I'll do one thing as get name statement earlier I have written, I'll try to remove it. Get name is equal to no, I have written, I'll try to remove it. Let's have that column names to read as it is. So now if I execute it and run it, the column names is right now flight and destination date, F class, E class, F review, E review and all the names is already available. So I don't need to worry about it. So now what I have done is I imported a, a file with a comma separated value file into SAS environment. I have done that. Not only that, sometimes you are interested to import the data with space separated file. You just go there in the same text document here. There is a data with me. So that is called raw data with all the data. Just you just look into it. Just a space separated. Earlier one is Excel. The next one is comma separated value. Sometimes if you have something like a space separated files, you are interested to import the space separated files into SAS environment. We can just right click on it and go to properties and go to security make sure to copy the path of the file but this time what you do is in your program you write it as same i'll just paste it at the down so you just write the same program as it is like earlier but the only difference you do is you try to read it as a, uh, this one as a raw data txt but dbms you, you can't write it as a csv csv means it's a comma separated value but now this time you are interested to import it uh, with it is a text format of file then it is a space separated then you write dbms equal to dlm this will allow me to import that particular data into sas environment now you can see the text file containing a data into SAS imported nice and proper. So this is the way where I can able to import even uh, this particular text files also into SAS environment. Not only that, sometimes it is not a, uh, just a, uh, what I can say that space. Sometimes you want to just to import the data with tab separated files. You just see in my data, there is a file called just a multiple spaces in your data. This is called tab separated files. You are interested to import these tab separated files containing a data into SAS environment. What you can do is go to properties, go to security. I'll copy the path of the file. I'm just using it a tab separated uh, file into SAS. I'll just mention it as same. So this time I'll try to write it proc import data file equal to C user and I do desktop tab file. DBMS, you can't re uh, rely on the DLM. You need to write it DBMS equal to tab. So this will allow me the tab separated files you are interested into SAS environment to be imported. So now I just done that. With this, you can just import it. The tab separated files also you are interested. We just done that. That. but first row is taking as a column names by default you don't want it for this particular program you can write it to sas as get names equal to no option you write it so that it won't take the first row as a column names when you execute it and run it now you can see the test file is just created and now you can get it the column names as a var1 var2 and var3 you're getting it right so this is perfect. So this is the way of how to import a data from an XLS X file, how to import a data from a comma separated value file, how to import the data from a uh, text file and how to import a data from a text file with a uh, tab separated spaces. You are interested to import it. We can use this particular procedure. This is called proc importing procedure with external data. So this is the procedure method to import external data into SAS environment we just covered in this. I hope you understand uh, this particular concept. Uh, anyone have any questions on this particular concept, please write it in the comment section. I'll try to provide. And I'm going to attach this particular data folder for you, for your reference. You can just download and practice with me. 
until that okay so we learned the method of proc import how we can able to import the files we have learned so let me just try to do a small task on it so we have learned how to do proc import now in this particular uh, time so we are going to learn about the task the task is importing a csv file of weekly steps so i have the data okay what i can say that save the following data in a csv file named as a weekly.csv so what we have to do you have to do is you just need to create this particular records in excel file so you try to open any excel file on your computer try opening it enter these particular details like week 1 2 3 4 5 steps is 10500 12000 and 11500 13000 and 12000 you create an excel file while you are saving it you click save as try to save it weekly.csv is the file name you try to save it once the file is created so what you have to do is you need to import it so while you are importing it you need to write a procedure so as you already know that proc import procedure you have to write it so let me know so once you are successfully imported saying the message in the comment section that i have successfully imported if anyone have any questions on importing you are failed to import it so i'll provide the answer in the comment section and as well as i'll provide in the description of this particular video try to see and check your answer and the procedure what you have written right or wrong you can compare with it thank you for watching please click on the like if you are interested on this particular video and as well as subscribe for more updates and if you have any questions or comments please write it in the comment section i'll take care thank you